who will say in heaven where the devil reside. I used to think the devil resided in hell. The devil don't reside in hell. He was in the second heaven. Hallelujah. So the reason why when we try to get through from the first heaven like the atmosphere and the clouds is because the enemy's up there intercepting your path. So I press for the mark of the hard calling when the men play Jesus. You persevere. You pass what? With power or work, you got to pray. That's the weapons of your warfare. Then you need the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the word of God. Help! And you bring everything captive into the obedience of Christ. The devil is a liar. He is defeated. Glory to God. But when you give praise to God and give him glory, in the midst of your soul, glory to God, God will make the sun come out. Right in the midst of your soul. Hello. I heard one guy that I love him say, he said the sun don't burn them clouds up. No way to God, the enemy will bring clouds, uh, but the he that the sun set free and free and neither sun that we worship uh, will burst them clouds of hell out. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Give the Lord some praise. Come on. Amen. Are we going to sing another song from the music or? Oh, hallelujah. Hey, you know, sometimes there's nothing wrong with testing the water. See, because all we're trying to do is stir that Holy Ghost that's already inside of you. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. 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 You know, amen, Jesus said, you shall speak with new tongues. But amen, amen, the speaking in tongues initially that came when the Holy Ghost fell. Then Paul said, I pray in tongues uh, more than the whole church at Corinth. And look how much he was getting done. Hello. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, now when you speak in tongues, glory to God. Now speaking in tongues, man, some people say, well, if you don't ba 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 me, I'm not going to ba 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 Hello. Glory <laughs> to God. And that's you speaking in tongues. I'm not a little stop. But when we pray in the tongues of men and angels, goes, I'm not a little filling your spirit up in his most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You trying to activate faith. Faith that working by love. Hello. Hallelujah. So we have tongue language to get to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody got to help you stir it up. Glory. Hallelujah! Glory! For everything that comes out of your mouth, glory to God, when you're in the battle, your mouth is a weapon! Your tongue is a weapon! Your hands are weapons! Your feet are weapons! And whether you want to be in it or not, you're in a battle! You're in a war! And you gotta be like a soldier! And get in the beat and get on one accord. Hallelujah. And before you know we get that unity that one accord. And before you know it, I ain't asking for a song. You start singing a song. Like the prophet is doing the other night. Yes, yes. I like it when it happened like that. Yes. Glory to God. Because the Holy Ghost now, he yes. bring that song about you. Hello. Yes. And, and hallelujah. You didn't have a song yes. in your mind. But the Holy Ghost brought it out of your spirit. Yes. And brought to your mind. And you start singing. Yes. I love that. Kind of, that's real church right there. Yes. yes. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we praise you. Come on, let's worship a little bit. Then come another song. I know. Even if I don't know the song, I get in with the rhythm and the beat. You know. Some people don't know how to beat on time. You can say, da 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 da
still be coming in this house. Because when we usher in the Holy Spirit, we usher in the presence of the Lord. Yes. But that does not affect the hurt that you put when you put your mouth against me or this man of God or this ministry. Amen. 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 So if you say yes, you'd love, you'd feel honored to come back and play. Guess what? You're gonna think about it because I'm already decreeing that Daddy God got a new musician that's gonna flow unto His glory in this house. Because this is only the beginning house. I've been I've been already negotiating on something greater and bigger. Hello, somebody. Hey, hey, don't bother me. <laughs> don't mess with G. Hell no. Come on, somebody. Because daddy got my back. Come on, somebody. Yeah, I don't worry about I walk in unmerited favor. I walk in unmeasurable favor. 
Come on, somebody. I, I already decreed it some months ago that Daddy God's going to give us $130,000 by August and pay this off. We ain't going to have to worry about it. nobody telling us we got to go or you got to buy it. Hmm. I, I, I already talked to the I already talked to the appraising company today again. And they said, uh, Pastor, what do you need? What do you want? What kind do you want? To, to, to get the actual price, also to remove the tax. I said, well, I've got my exemption, but we need to know what we need to do. Come on, somebody. So that costs. Hello, somebody. But I already, I, I'm sitting back saying, Daddy God, you know, you, you tell me what to do. You put us here. So I reminded, I reminded the sellers that, you know, uh, you all called me. Begging me to come back and take this place. Oh, yeah. Telling me that God told you yeah. that we supposed to be here. Now you want to call me, leaving me harassing, messing with how long before the praise will come. This is not a house. Yeah. It's the house of God, but it's not a house. Come on. So yeah. people ain't running around in Calumet City and Dalton and Harvey and Markham buying business buildings like hot kids. That's right. Come on, somebody. So it ain't like they just go get me some figures, but... I'm already, like I said, I in the meantime. But in the meantime. In the meantime. I don't care who pray against, who speak against. They can't stop a daddy God God. Come on, somebody. All right. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, you know, he told me if I can believe it. That's it. That's right. Amen. Me and the prophet was the other night. He said, Doc, I, it's going to be all right. We're going to believe it. And that's what we've been fasting every day. And we've been praying that God is getting ready to break the assignment. Come on, somebody. Amen. Folks trying to put them out. But you see, they don't know. <laughs> the place I'm looking at is so big, it's ridiculous. I can put three of these inside the building that, that oh I'm looking at. Yeah. And amen. I'm, I'm preparing to bring the two women, two doctors, from out of two different states. They're sisters. They operate this program in three, four states now. But the Lord put them in my spirit, or put me in their spirit. They want to come in and connect. Amen. This program for our youth is mind blowing. Come on, somebody. So I've been just praying. I said, Dad, what do you want me to do, Daddy? I said, Well, I'd like to show enough just to secure this and pay it off. Say, Bam, boom, bam, thank you. Now the minister can wave it and say, This, we own this free and clear. Now we want to get this over here. How many people know Daddy God can do anything? Yes. I serve, yes. An, I serve an impossible God. Nothing's impossible. So. That's why tonight you don't have the keyboard player. We got two drummers that are anointed and we've been having a good time. But that one night we had an awesome worship with our keyboard player and the enemy just got busy. And guess what? Yeah. Devin, too bounced it. I know somebody. Because I, I, I hopefully you tell me one month you don't start no show. Come on, somebody. So, as long as they make CDs and nowadays they got the internet so we can just. Bluetooth right on there. We put up some songs here, and we, I've got a whole lot on our laptop, but he attacked our laptop last week. That's why our screens are not on, because he attacked that. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to keep fooling with it. I'm just going to go buy me another one tomorrow or next year. That's right. Come on. I ain't got time to be fooling around begging people. Can you, can you fix this? Can you solve it? No, that's why. Please. Daddy, tell me where it's at. He got one waiting now. Come on. Right. Come on here. We're going to pump it up. We're going to have the screens operating, you know. And by the way, Last night, you know, they kept on calling us on the other screen, and that was uh, uh, an old friend of all of ours, Dr. Linda Allen Washington, with her new book, and she said, Apostle, I was, y'all messed me up. She said, I was all in talk looking for y'all last night. I said, girl, wow. what part don't you read Calumet City? She said, I didn't see that part. Wow. She said, I'm going out of town at 4 o'clock in the morning. I won't be back until Sunday, late Sunday afternoon. She said, I wanted so bad to see a father. I wanted to surprise Billy Wonder. So, and man, we're going to believe God. I told her, well, he, he, he might be here Sunday afternoon. We don't know what, what the Lord is saying until tomorrow night. But in the meantime, she told me to give you her private number later on. But she wanted to surprise us last night. That was her kept popping on the screen. Like, Where are the address? I'm trying to stay out the screen and punch in the address. That's why I said, Don't you tell them the address. <laughs> so in the middle of his preaching last night, he said, well, you see, you had to come in six nights. <laughs> I said, that's right, Pastor. Tell him how to get <laughs> Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Truly, it's an honor. It's a pleasure tonight that those that are here, this man of God, it's an assignment. The fire is burning. I said, the flames are burning. Amen. 
The flames I'm talking about is the Holy Spirit flames of healing and empowerment. Oh, come on, somebody. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, shut up. Some great things about the break. Somebody's about to get a breakthrough. Yeah. Amen. Today, when I was in noon prayer, and I was just praying, and just heard the Spirit of the Lord say, Step back. Watch what I'm getting ready to bust some doors. He says, step, He said, Just step back. He said, I'm getting ready to bust some doors. Come on, somebody. I'm like, Okay, Lord. I'm not worried. I said, You know, but I just know that there's expenses, there's this, there's that. You know, come on, somebody. But I said, it's not about that. It's about the move of you. When people getting healed, they live in set free. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So as long as Daddy God is getting the glory, guess what? He got something else greater. Come on, show my shout glory to him. Right. So at this time, I want you to stand to your feet if you would with me. Amen. Amen. I know it's a little warm. Well, right before we took the building, they stole both of our compressors outside. And, amen. I was going to put two used units in right away. But you know what? If I'm going to buy something and I have to pay you, give you what you ask for, then my request, I want two brand new furnaces and two brand new central air units. And then I'll give you your money. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. So, you know. I know we all ain't had air conditioning all of our life. Some of us, you know, we had five fans going in one room. And we had a box with a fan in the window trying to get some air in and out. Come on. So we ain't going to let that stop. But we're going to keep praising God. Is that all right? All right. Amen. How many is excited tonight? Excited. And then we got Apostle Hollywood in the house. That's right. I thought that's what I'm going to say. I thought that's what Mother Connors said. He looked like a Hollywood star. I was over there praying for the night. She called me, and then I, I got worried when I got here because she wasn't answering the phone. It was busy, and it was busy, and I called the cell phone. It was going straight off. That's when I, I just got over there when I saw you pulling up. And then she finally, I kept beating and beating and beating and beating, and she said she could hardly walk. I, was like, I thought she had fell out because the devil attacked her the other day, and they rushed her to the hospital. The doctor was saying something about circulation. So I was over there praying and anointing her. And she, that's what she said. I she said, it's Hollywood, uh, talk for Hollywood got this. She said, I got to get it tomorrow night. I, I just love the way he dressed. Yeah. Amen. So mother gave you that little nickname. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Come on, somebody. At this time, I want to introduce to some of the presenters, others, most of you already know this awesome man of God. We go back in the early 80s when my pastor deceased him, going on to the glory as we believe in hope None other than Apostle, I mean, none other than Prophetess and Pastor E. R. Keller, one of the world's most renowned television evangelists, brought this man of God in in the early 80s. And I was a young preacher and I was just her personal bodyguard. I kept looking at this dude, I thought I dressed, you know, all, as they say, flamboyant. This Apostle come in and I said, man, where you just step out of Hollywood? I didn't say that to them, I'm like, dang, you know, we got Hollywood in the house, you know. He come pulling up with limousines, and I'm like, Amen. But the power of God, somebody say the anointing, is what breaks the yokes. Remember one thing, that many people are operating gifts. But the Word of God said, the gift works without repentation, but it's the anointing that destroys and breaks the yokes. Yes. Somebody say glory. Glory. See, I defended somebody the other night. Somebody made a smart remark, and I got more. <laughs> yeah. Because they tried to say, well, he's dressing. I, let me tell you something. I dress always uh, different ways. <laughs> right? I dress down a lot. Come on. I wear my designer jeans. She's there $200. I wear my designer jeans. they $100. Come on. Don't, don't go there with me. Yep. Amen. It, it's not in my clothes, number one. It's in the anointing. Yeah. And I told somebody, I said, this is not about a show. It's not about trying to raise some money because all oh, somebody said, well, he always had, y'all been asking for money. Let me tell you something. It costs. Yes. Yes. How many people know the lights cost in this field? Yes. When you go wash your little hands or your big hands or some hands in the, in the bathroom, if I had cold water, you'd get upset and talk about it, right? So the, 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 the hot water tank costs money. Come on, yes. Amen. Amen. Now that's just the ministry cost right here. But then when the man of God has to come in and he yes. stays in a hotel, yes. And we look look stupid. We go put them in the Motel Six or or, 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 or Daisy Inn or whatever that is, where the Daisy Inn or where you know Daisy who she coming in and out. 
That would be wrong, wouldn't it? Would you say this? No. Well, I mean, no. Yeah, some of y'all would. No. Some of y'all would. No. 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 Dope no. getting outside, slinging dope. Come on, prostitutes strolling no. by. No. Amen. <laughs> no, it's not right. Come on, somebody. It's not right. Somebody say it's not right. It's not right. Now, the Word of God said the workman is what? Worthy of what? It's the hire. So, we're not hiring him, but fathers hired him and brought him into this house to break up some fertile ground, to cause some restoration, bring healing to some people, and deliverance. I'm saying this all around the etherways by all my listeners and those that can see, because this is not a money thing, baby. This is an anointed thing. Yeah. Amen. There's been many times me and the man of God have both seen the same conditions. Amen. Amen. And peoples, because we flow that way. And if I couldn't tap with that man that way, he wouldn't be here. If it was a joke in a game, he wouldn't be here. So he's real. Yeah. So, you, you know, people take the mouth off the ministry and yeah. off the man of God. Yeah. Amen. I don't care if he came in with gold uh, stacks in the back in the 70s, you know. You know and, 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 and that, that don't matter. Come on, somebody. People ain't saying nothing about Benny Hinn. Right. He's living in a in a forty thousand, I mean a forty million dollar mansion. Why you want to talk to him out? Yeah. Right. I put it out there. Right. Mm -hmm. TDJ. Ain't nobody saying about TDJ. Have you seen his mansion? Yeah. And his private jet. This man didn't fly in a private jet. This man. And I don't see TDJ stealing nobody. You know, God using him. You know, this man, God, God is using this man. Yes. God, the daddy God is using the anointing in this man. God. He can be fast and you pray. Yes. And certain times he say, Apostle, I'm going in. I won't touch bases with you too many because I'm shutting down. I'm shutting in. I said, understand. I do that same thing. Right? Uh -huh. That's a real. Now, if he was lying, I'd know my own self because he wouldn't be right in my spirit. Yes. Amen. Because I know why. Yes. So you know me for you. You know why? I see good. So I'm not bringing somebody just to play a game. I'm bringing somebody to help me be some. I put a Macedonian call out and this man of God answered and said, the Lord told me to come back in with you. Yes. Amen. Right. So I'm, I'm honored. Because yes. he, he, like me, can go preach in some buildings where there's 2,000 folks sitting around. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody, and they ain't talking about it. He ain't been that. No, they ain't they, they breaking their neck to give the man of God in the house some money. Come on, I just put it out because I don't, I'm, I'm tired of people's mouth. I'm, I'm tired of people's comments. I'm tired of people's this, this decision, you know? Yeah. It's not right. Come on, somebody. So point your hand and say, Lord, we just thank you tonight. Oh, oh, and we receive this man of God. None other than apostle and prophet, Billy Wonders. We're going to amen. 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 Somebody by the hand and look him in the eyeballs. I repeat these words, neighbor, next time you see my face, I will and I shall have something to tell you. But you must first see my face. Give God a hand clap as you take this seat. Some people don't understand ministry. I was telling a skeptic that was trying to get his life together and said, I want to come to church, too much money being involved and like it's a business. I said, uh, son, one of the things about ministry you don't know, you're ignorant to deliverance ministry. You're ignorant to uh, church decorium, Pentecost and decorium. Yes. I'm not calling you stupid, you're just ignorant. You don't know, you don't understand. Church ministry is a business. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Is that right? Yes. It's a business. It is a business. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Verizon's a business. Well, Fargo's a business. Church is a different business. Yes. Wherever people are, it's a business. Right. A gathering. Yes. Come on now. We don't shout in the dark. Come on now. We don't freeze during the winter time. A shout, don't pay your bills. A dance, a fall out on the floor, lay there, as long as jobs are wax, call the wall, tickle, uh, tick like a clock. Don't pay your bills. Quickly, like you've been shot by electricity, don't pay your bills. When I first got saved, I went down to the light company to take care of my 
bill. I was quickly speaking in turn the folk were watching. I'm baby saying, no, you know, a lot of my boys. And the lady moved away from me. I ta ta ta. And I was finished. I said, you through, young man? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes. That'll be eighty nine dollars and seventy two cents. <laughs> Right. Okay, I put you quicken down by uh, Comcast, pull a card in. When it's all over, come you have to come out your purse, your wallet, your checking and saving account. Yes. Church uh, is a uh, a gathering of people, but it is a safety haven. Yes, God, uh, clothes don't have anything to do with ministry. Exactly. Clothes. Don't have anything to do with ministry. Right. A man one time told me, he said, uh, I thought you were a crooked first. I thought you was a purse snatcher. Mm. I said, if I was a purse snatcher, I would snatch it clean. <laughs> I would get some Nikes and some jeans. <laughs> and practice how to run and take off after the snatch. <laughs> I teach this, Apostle Gibbs, that right. God bless us according to our style. That's right. yes. Everybody has a style. Yes. Chain clothes don't move God. Right. Right. Clothes don't move God. Come on now. Right. Somebody yes. say that. Exactly. Clothes yes. don't move God. God bless you according to your style. Yes. I remember years ago, I'm going to say this, go ahead and elucidate unto you what God put in my spirit. Years ago, 40, 54 years ago when I first got saved, went to the ministry, I wore a pair of shoes for about five months, six months. I would go to church, get on my knees to pray, and as I get on my knees to pray, I would turn around and catch people staring at the bottom of my <laughs> shoe. When I turned and looked at them, they looked up like they were praising God. I know what they were doing. They were looking at the socks, hanging out of the hole, come on out, huh? And the cardboard paper. To cover stuff up. Yeah. I was walking and praying one day as a young man. This was 54 years ago, my first 21 day fast. First 21 day fast in the attic. I was in the attic in prayer, in the attic praying. Come on now. You see that? Attic prayer. God told me that He would bless me tremendously. And once He stopped blessing me, I would never ever run out of clothes or shoes. I'll have stuff to give away. Clothes to give away. Somebody said, Amen. Amen. Clothes to give away. The first outfit that God gave me, it was a Baptist preacher that got me started. A crooked Baptist preacher. I'm not going to call his name. I don't do names. A crooked, hormone Baptist preacher that took me into his church in Milwaukee, Wisconsin and said, give me the two-week revival, son. I could preach. I didn't know how to preach. Come on now. I just quote read the scriptures. I ran the hands on folks that I didn't heal. I was there for two weeks. The Lord spoke to me and said, go down over Lee Street to this certain store. Go to this store and do what? Go in and look at four suits. You'll leave out with four suits. Wow. Take with you only $50 and you'll leave out with four suits. Right now. All right now. Hey. So I went into the store. I got me a, a, a gray pink stripe silk, blue a black, gray, a black pinstripe suit, green, and a yellow pinstripe suit with suede boots. Fifty dollars, just like God said. And when I was store, come on now, and talking about sharp as a toothpick and a thumbtack. From the time that God started blessing me, He hasn't stopped. I'm not boasting or bragging. Over, over. 4,000 pair of shoes the last 54 years. Wow. Over 4,000 suits. Wow. Stuff I give away. Wow. 
I gave something away in this crusade. Some gangbangers came to my crusade in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Seven of them, and I took seven of the best suits a man uh, uh, gave me out of his shop. Uh, 2,500 pair of hornback gators. Come on now, with the tail that stick up. Amen. I gave those to uh, one of the gangbangers. Come on now. Yes. I gave away clothes and suits and shoes. Not to be stingy, but to be free-hearted. Yes. So it, it matters less what people think about you. Nobody can tell you how to wear your hair. That's right. That's, right. That's your style. Come on now. I'm tired of different people, uneducated, ecclesiastical crowds, talking about... Uh, uh, I had to clear up something a while back here on the radio in Chicago where they were uh, uh, asking questions about scripture. Uh... That uh, uh, women wearing makeup, it, 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 uh, they, they have Jezebel spirits. And I called in and I said, Yes, this is a possibility. But hey, possible, how's the crusades? Crusades are good. I'm going to talk about makeup. I heard a statement that the young man made said, You can't tell uh, the Indians from the saints. A bold statement. Come on now. Jezebel was not a Jezebel because she wore makeup. She was Jezebel because she had a spirit. Come on now, huh? She made Ahab henpeck. You look in Job, and I'm almost finished. Job, not Job. Job, the 42nd chapter. Three of the daughters, Kezia, huh? Jemima, Karen Hapak. Karen Hapak means paid whore. Come on now. Which they fixed their faces up. Brought out hidden beauty. What makes women look so nice? A lot of them in Hollywood is makeup, the way they put it on. Is yeah. that right? right? The right. face made up. Come on now. Right. Lipstick is not a, a, a sin. You, you know how you should know how far to go. A prostitute right. put this up, but you're not a prostitute. You're a woman. Come on now. Right. You know how to dress. Right. We're just holy. We're just clean. Come on now. Right. Everybody has a style. It don't make you slick and quick. I have to stop. A whole bunch of folk. Hey, Pip, one guy told me tonight when he gets in bed, he said, you just keep on pimping, don't you stop. <laughs> I go, you know what you're doing. <laughs> and I said, wait a minute, young man. I did not call you a bum. He said, I'm not dressed like a bum. That's why I thought you were a bum. <laughs> but you're not a bum. No, I'm not. I'm not a pimp either. You see how it works? You're not a bum. I'm not a pimp. Right. You dress like a bum. Come on now. But I'm dressed for nosh. This is me. This is my style. A while back, I, I, I told God I'm going right. to stop being pernosh and flashy. God said, if you do, I will bless you with another suit of pants. That's it. Yes, I want that. God has blessed me. This outfit was given to me. A, a, a woman, a beautiful Indian woman from Pakistan, donate this to my ministry. I got people that donate stuff. Amen. Donate, come on now, donate stuff. My seamstress, make my shoes, come on now, make my suits. Hmm? Isn't that wonderful? Yes. I deal yes. with the owner, people that own places, the owner of the hotel where I stand, the friend of mine, the friend of the Street. He owns the hotel, millionaire. There's some people that God touched to be a blessing to me financially. Yes. Yes. But I put it back in the ministry. The BMW that I brought in last time. It was given to me Amen. by someone on the Word Network. It was given to me. Amen. The, uh, for S500 of uh, Mercedes Benz was given to me. Amen. Come on now. Amen. You look on the back of the car, it's a tire that was painted. A young man that's not even saying the game painted said, God came to me in a dream and said, put this on your car. I said, put it on the car then, baby. Amen. Amen. I know how far to go. I reached. A lot outside people, right. pimps, prostitutes. Come on now. Yes. I broke a prostitute down uh, in Mississippi not too long ago. She said, I never sat on a person's lap and rode in the car like this. I said, you wouldn't have to sit on the person's lap if you get in a car like that. <laughs> I know the streets. Come on now. I know the streets. You are what you are. Don't change for nobody. Don't change. Be yourself. That's your style, your hair style. Come on now. Yes. You wear gold, keep wearing gold. You wear tags, a wig, come on now. That's between you and God. 
Yeah. Hey, see you and God. Yeah. Just make sure you put the ponytails on tight and you shout now. <laughs> 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 Somebody say it. Amen. Be yourself. Don't change for nobody. Yeah. Because if you do, you have fed what they said. Yeah. Isn't God wonderful? Yeah. Somebody tell them thank you. Thank God for Apostle uh, Gibbs tonight. Look at Sharp House again. Get back out. Red leather shoes. Pink stripes. A black satin shirt with red on it. Hair pushed back. You call him the sanctified Einstein. <laughs> That go outside, you touch the BMW. Come on now, you may hit the ground from the anointing. Isn't God wonderful? Everybody got a Look at this beautiful wow, decked out she is. Come in, buddy. Look at that. Look at those shoes, rhinestones. Oh, banana split in the dress. Oh, oh my God. Isn't that wonderful? Somebody say that. Look at my nerves. Stand up, baby. Look at Lord. There she goes. Look at that. Look at she back out. Look what type of shoes you got on. Everybody's not able. Mama got the jam pushed on the side to block the sun. Look at that gold wall. Look back over there in the corner. Look at Mama, y'all. Look at that hat. Tell me she's not wearing it. You know she is. Isn't God wonderful? Be yourself. Don't change for nobody. Don't change for nobody. Don't change for nobody. Don't change for nobody. Somebody say amen. amen. God is good all the time. God bless you a certain way. You flow in that way. Don't yes. change for nothing. Yes. For nothing for nobody. Let me go ahead and preach a little bit tonight. I feel God right now in this place. God gave me a message on that. Thank God for all the paracletes. Amen. Uh, uh, astronauts. Those that flow in the graphical, esoterical flow of God. Amen. We thank God for you tonight, all the pastors. Come on up, preacher. You and your wife, come up. Yeah. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Pop this gene. Amen. Apostle Boston. Thank God for the anointing. Apostle Boston had a vision of you had a wide afro, which ain't got no afro on, on your potato head. That wide afro was expansion of prosperity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and preach a little bit tonight. Thank God. Right. Amen. Thank God. I'll be on the radio tomorrow night from 7.15 to 7.30. 15.70 a.m. 15.70 a.m. Yeah. Isn't God wonderful? Yes, he is. Amen. Look at my members. They look so nice tonight. Amen. <laughs> love y'all so much. Isn't God wonderful? <laughs> cancer heal. Pass the cancer to that commode. Splash! Come on now. Mm -hmm. Tumor lift off her jeans. Uh, yeah, she got her hat tilted over her left eyeglass. <laughs> God is good. Some of you didn't know this. Lord, stand up here. My nurse was healed of cancer. Right. Wiped it totally out. <laughs> the told the Holy Ghost to go back in the checkup. In the same service, Sister Mackey said, I have a growth in my breast. You go back! It'll be gone. Yes. What happened to it? It was gone. Yes. Wiped out diabetes and cancer. Yes. Come on. Isn't that one? Yes. This one I fast and pray. Yes. Up and down the street at night time or four o'clock store. Yes. Freaks come out at night. <laughs> Spending ample time with God, fasting and praying. Praying and fasting. I'm, I'm almost up to 900 hours of prayer from August the 10th all the way to this morning. Eight, uh, 886 hours of prayer. Yes. Stuff is happening. Somebody just came out of a coma. Yes. I was in a coma for six months. I just came out of a coma. Somebody say amen. 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 I was in Miami, Florida 12 years ago in a crusade possible. A woman came out, stomach sticking out. Why do you look so sad, ma'am? Possibly, you don't have to tell me. 
one of the babies you carry is dead and floating in your system. But God said, not so. Not so what? Not so it won't stay dead. Uh. This was 12 years ago. There's a twin, little Isaiah, standing beside his twin sister. Wow. Little Isaiah Amen. standing between his twin sister. Wow. Look at that. It's on record. The hospital is amazed. Amen. When I go back again, they want to see me. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. Our first 21 day fast. The last three days of that, went into the attic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where I was born and raised. Look at that. When they said, Oh, you're such a gorgeous Negro. I said, Thank you, man. <laughs> Negro uh, compliments. Thank you so much. Isn't that wonderful? I feel God. Let me go ahead and preach a little bit tonight. Thank God. Give me just a few moments. It's um, almost 10 o'clock. I, I can go to about 10 30. Is that okay, y'all? Yeah, okay. Right. Come on quickly with me into the bottom of the book. We're going into Second Samuel, 23rd chapter, verse 20 and verse 21. Verse 20 and verse 21. Oh, I feel God right now. I feel God right now. God is good all the time. Enemies attack my car. My ball joint. What? Got to get attacked again. This was going to Milwaukee early Wednesday doing a broadcast this evening. You shouldn't go, Reverend. Uh, you shouldn't go like that. I said, I've got to get to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Amen. I want to go see my grandbaby that uh, burned her son to death. Burned him up. Poor canola all over and burned him up. But I'll be okay. You know what I mean? I have to catch a bus. I'll be okay. God is good, isn't it? I like to ride buses every so often. The only thing that's wrong, people, they like to pass gas too much on buses. <laughs> Maybe I will switch it to the train. I don't know. Isn't that wonderful? Second Samuel, 23rd chapter, verse 20 and verse 21. And it reads thus. And Beniah, the son of Jehoka. Uh, Beniah, the son of Jehoka. Jehoka. Yes, go ahead. The son of Balak man of yes. Hazel. Giselle? Who had done many acts. Many acts. Watch this. Here's a message. Hey, y'all, tonight is defeat night. Where you are have defeated something, and God's going to show you in dream the vision, what damage was done to the enemy. What damage was done. I'm so glad you attempted to come back, uh, Sister Mackey, because I'm going to curse all the germs in your, uh, the lining of your stomach. It's in the lining of your stomach. Try to back up, but I will come back and minister to you tonight. Come on, somebody say that. Amen. Some people I may minister to you more than one time. Yes. It don't mean that God is prejudiced. Come on up. Or favoritism. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes yes. God will come back around. Come on now. There's more than one office visit. Yes. Read Bible. He slew two lion like men he on Moab. Yeah, but, uh, he slew two lion like men. Men of Moab had faces like lion, like shape, like the beard, come on now, of a lion. Warriors, those that were bloodthirsty in war, had no mercy or no pity. Somebody say amen. Say amen again. Amen. Read, I feel like preaching. Read Bible. He went down also and slew a lion in the midst of a pit. He slew the time, a lion, baby cubs, in the pit. Yes. In the time of snow. During snowy winter season. Where the snow was out. He slew two lion-like men that were dangerous, that were warriors, that were fighters. Come on now. They didn't fear anything. The Moabites, they starved stuff. Read Bible. And he slew an Egyptian. He a, slew an Egyptian. A goodly man. A Egyptian that was about 10 feet tall. 10 feet 6 inches tall. A Giant like Egyptian. He slew. S L E W. Sometimes the Bible speaks smoke. Come on now. Smoke is a blow, a hit, a punch. But there's times you must slay the situation. You must destroy it. You must slay that demon and kill it off. Come on now. 
Somebody say amen. Read Bible. And the Egyptian had a spear in his hand. The Egyptian had a spear in his hand, a concealed weapon. He had a spear in his hand, a concealed weapon. Read Bible. But he went down to him with a staff. And, and uh, the spear. And then I went down, uh, approached the Egyptian with a stick, a staff in his hand. That's what he had. They used staffs to walk on sometimes to fight away wolves and stuff. So it was a staff against a spear. How about now? Read Bible. And plucked the spear out of the Egyptian hand. Plucked it out of his hand. And slew him with his own spear. Took his concealed weapon and slew him with his own spirit. Slew him with his own spirit. Now, God is getting ready to use you to take from the hand of the enemy and slay him with his own weapon. It's getting ready to come up in about number five days. Five is grace. Come on up. Seven is completion. You're going to take what he used against you and you're going to do him in with it. Somebody say that. Amen. David took uh, the sword out of the sheath of Goliath and cut off his thick head. Come on now. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Isn't God wonderful? Oh, I feel God right now. Lift your hands and tell them yes. thank you. Thank you, Lord. Tell them thank you again. Thank you, Lord. Could you please in the first Samuel 17 chapter, verse 42. And then Matthew 11 and 12. Isn't God wonderful? Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Thank God for the anointing. First Samuel 17 chapter, verse 42. Verse 42. Feel that preaching a little bit tonight. And it reads thus. Read. And when the Philistines looked it about and saw David. When the Philistines looked about and saw David. He disdained him. He disdained. Stop right there. He put him down. The devil tried to lower his character, bring down his confidential scale. Come on now. In times of troubles and stress and tension and times and dates of challenge, the enemy approach you to put you down. Come on now. The sling stuff before your presence. <clears throat> oh my God. She just got two cars. Your car have arthritis. Come on now. The sling stuff to make you think, to become flustered or obtuse. Come on now. To wonder and phantom in your mind why all this God. Some stuff is a test and some stuff is just an attack. Some stuff is a bluff. The devil comes to bluff oneself. Come on now. But you take the bluff and you whip his tail all the way to the outskirts of hell. Really, he don't work out of hell. He works on earth. Is that right? Somebody say that. Matthew 11 and 12, and I'll be real quickly and articulated. Somebody say amen. 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 God right now. Can I preach a little bit tonight? Oh, I feel this thing right now. I feel God right now. Thank God for the anointing. Read the Bible. And from the days of John the Baptist. From the days of John the Baptist, the forerunner. John the Baptist, forerunner. He had a ministry, but he didn't have a deliverance ministry. Come on now. He just had a gospel ministry. John never cast out demons. Come on now. Never healed the sick, never raised the dead, but he was a man of God. He had a gospel ministry similar to Billy Graham. Somebody say amen. amen. Read Bible. Until now the kingdom of heaven. The now the kingdom of heaven. Suffered violence. Suffered violence. And the violence taken by force. Now the violence taken by force. Taken by force. Retaliate. Come on now. It's time to retaliate. The mob don't play music. Come on now. They retaliate. You hurt someone. They come back around to hurt you. Get somebody by the head. Hold it real tight. Hold it real tight. Look them in the eyeballs. Hold that hand real tight. Repeat these words. Neighbor, yeah. the devil stared my anointing up. So I had to perform self-defense. There's laws of self-defense, my friend. Come on now. There's laws of self-defense. People try to rob you. You can stop them. Come on now. It's self-defense. 
I asked the preacher, what happened if somebody came through the window uh, breaking in? He said, I would call on God and speak in tongues. She said, babe, while you speak and I'll be aiming. <laughs> Somebody say amen. amen. So what happened? He took the, uh, the spear out of the Egyptian's head. He took his own weapon. The enemy has a weapon. Come on now. No weapons. Weapon that is formed against thee. Form, it don't mean it not be formed. It will be formed. It will be laid out. Come on now. The blueprint. The preparation. Ready to work. Ready to go. Ready to aim. No weapon that is formed. Come on now. Made up. Put aside. Laid out. Planned. Come on. Pre-planned. Plan, plan this, plan weeks before uh, we came. No weapon that is formed. So what is it? It's not a weapon. <laughs> he said no weapon. Come on now. Amen. But he used things to confront people, to activate. Yeah. The activation yeah. is hard to trust God in activation. Yeah. Right. Activate it. You're told to lift your hands and activate it. Lift your hands praise God. <laughs> praise God. Somebody say amen. amen. So tonight, you're going to take it out of the hand of the enemy. You're going to take uh, it back. He took something. He froze up your finances. He chilled your answer. It was supposed to manifest three weeks ago. Now it shall manifest three hours from now. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen. You're taking it back. You're taking it back. You won't take it. You won't put up with it. Come on now. I preached a message years ago. Uh oh, you stepped on the last nerve. Come on now. Everybody in holiness have a temper or a bad temper. It don't mean that you're less of a person. It don't mean that you're low class. Come on now. You have a temper or a bad temper. Your temper is a temper, but a bad temper, you have a short week. Come on now. Yeah. You can look at the wrong way. What did you just say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody say amen. You have a bad temper some way through the DNA of your dad. Come on now. Yeah. Huh? They called him rockfish. So the rockfish landed on you. You went up so many heads. Come on now. Broke jaws, not false teeth out, took wigs on head. I would hate people black eyes, call him a cool and low ranger junior at the same time. So you're over here in holiness and you don't play games. Some folk you can't play with. Some folk don't even bother you. They mind their own business. They don't linger around after the church. Some folk you can't touch. Come on down. You can't confirm. You can't play games. There are some folk in the church that can't take a hard rebuke. But oh, rebuke is better than secret love. Some rebukes got to be light. Come on, not lightweight. Not too much heavyweight on her. Be cross with that temper. Uh, God would take that temper and put it to sleep. Yeah. Like a nature. Come on now. Yeah. Like a nature. I told a man one time, God's going to humble you and humble you, make you humble. I pray, sir, that you may relax concerning your nature. He said, I ain't got no nature. And then three weeks later, he wanted to be married. Somebody say amen. amen. So you take it by force. You pluck it. You get away to pluck something out of the plan of the enemy. You go pluck something. God's going to take and move in the uh, unseen. That what you're not familiarized with that the enemy has laid out. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. He's the El Roi, the all seeing God. Don't you know or are you aware the enemy's intention is to stop you this month? He is mad and upset because you cross over here. In this year, come on now, you tore down barriers, you fought, come on now. Oh, you had to do some heavyweight prayer, some heavyweight fasting. Some things were greater. Demons come in all sizes, is that right? Yes. It's, come on, they come in all sizes. Demon spirits of aggravation, the demon spirits of stress, come on now. Not to kill you, just to stress you out. Have you in the house the rest of your life peeking out of the door like, oh my God, like you're scared of a roach that's knocking at your mailbox. Somebody say that. So you're taking it by force. You would not let anybody get in your face and try to snatch your purse. Would you speak in tongue or quote Psalm 23? 
You will do something to defend yourself. You will do something to defend your daughter, to defend your child. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. Every night after church, there's a little lady here that says, Pastor, I'm walking outside. Make sure you get to the car real safe. Isn't God wonderful? That's right. Uh, I had a staff once of five securities. Because sometimes in the ministry, you pray for women that shack it. Come on now. And they pray against the honey houses. That's right. And the woman gets saved. And a boyfriend get upset. Oh, so you were the red, huh? <laughs> so the red don't want to be doing nothing. Like, come on, come on, come on. I remember years ago I was in Puerto Rico, and I had it when he come to myself. I prayed for this witch. I made hands when she hit the floor. <laughs> when she hit the floor, her son swung at me. When he swung, I bowed. I said, "Oh, I said, everybody, lift your hands to heaven." Like she was. <laughs> I if I didn't know anything about bobbing or weaving, come on now, or throwing down in the street when he swung me, I step back. Everybody, let's pray. Jehovah's in the building. Anyone needs to make him eat baby food the rest of his life. Somebody say amen. amen. Stuff happens, and the enemy comes to arouse your temper. Come on now. To get you upset just before you answer, just before you break through, just before you break out. Cause crazy stuff, strange stuff start happening. And you wonder where this coming from. I did not invite this into my camp. Come on now. So I sent it back to the center. I did not order this skunk spirit. I did not order this serpent or this viper, this, this scorpion. I did not order this trouble. So it's coming from somewhere. So I send it back to the city. It's got to go back. But it's not over until it's over. Oh, one phraseologist made a statement. It's not over to the fat lady says she don't have to be fat but to be over. Somebody say that. Amen. That just was a famous phraseologist. It's over when God says it's over. And what God is saying that now is coming to an end. Get somebody by the head and say, neighbor, it is coming to an end. Come on, shake it, neighbor. It is. It is. It is. It is coming to an end. That's right, they have to come to end. Oh, my God. Yes, the uh, lion like men were defeated. The lions were defeated. The uh, Egyptian was defeated. Come on now. Moses saw a Egyptian uh, trying to, uh, to defeat an Israelite. And Moses went in to defend the Israelite. Come on now. Slew him and looked to the left and right, saw no man, and buried the Egyptian. Isn't God wonderful? Yeah. So I'm here to tell you, whatever it is that you've been dealing with, the last three weeks, the last five weeks, it's getting ready to be defeated, my friend. Round three is here tonight. We get ready to hit some hard blows upside the enemy's head. Judo is used really to unbalance uh, the opponent. Come on now. Karate was used for blows. Come on, and blocks. Huh? Taekwondo was used to spin and kick. I took up uh, Taekwondo. I took up Aiki. I know the movements. I know where the nerves are. A lot of people don't know that. Nerves. That's what you go after. Come on now. In the ring, you see one get knocked down because they hit the wrong nerve. Some fighters have glass jaws. Come on now. So tonight, the enemy has a glass jaw. Get ready to whip him and whip him good. That is, many may not know him. Isn't God wonderful? He brought stuff into your pathway. He brought stuff. He brought stuff into your family, into your marriage. Come on down. Yes. To bring harm to your children, yes. your children, children. To sit on your finances and call it a pancake box. Come on down. Try to use you like a bad day. I feel this thing. But tonight is payback time. It's retaliation. Come on yeah. now. You take it back by force. Yeah. It's a payback now. Oh, hurt and wounded your child, your son, your daughter, your husband. 
trying to put you in the hospital and leave you there. So tonight you will take it and you in a pocket. Pluck the plan away. Pluck the, pluck the scheme. Pluck the layout. Come on now. Pluck what it is that he is trying to put in your past. You're standing face to face with the enemy. You get away. I don't care how tall he is. I don't care what he is and what it is. It could be minor, it could be major, but there's a pluck anointing. Everybody pluck your head. Come on now. There's a pluck anointing where you're going to pluck it out of the head and take it, and you're going to do that thing, a job with the pluck. Come on now. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. My toe just got healed because I went back to get my toes done too soon, and it irritated my told them don't go over my uh, upper baby toe. Come on, take it easy, young lady, as you clean my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got pretty feet. I said, no, I don't have pretty feet. Women have pretty feet. But I'm a man. And last time I'd appreciate you asked me what type of color I want on my toe. Do my wrist look like a swiss <laughs> I sighed, I said, no, you know the difference between men's toes and women's toes? Somebody, look, you tell I'm built. Isn't God wonderful? <laughs> it's payback tonight. I don't know how many of you have been confronted with more major than minor. Jesus was confronted in Matthew 4, Luke 4, with 40 temptations. 40 temptations, 37 minor. And three major, you read in Matthew 4 and Luke 4, when it's coming to an end. You're going to fight for somebody else. You're going to fight for your children. You're going to fight for yourself. You're going to pluck it. Once you pluck it, other weapon out of the hand of the plan of the enemy, you'll take that and do him a job. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. When I was coming up, my God, they had bullies. A bully was a large meat roach with large shoulders. Come on up, big arms. And people would, oh, they would be afraid to say something wrong because of his size, his stature. The broad uh, gorilla chest, come on now, that looked like Hong Kong, King Kong, Mighty Joe Young. The big chest, the deep water. What does it mean? The arm, the forearm, the bicep, come on now. And the walk, come on now. They were fighting some people. Back in the days of the 50s and 60s, we wore khaki pants and ivory league shirts. Come on now. Some of y'all don't remember that. Ivory league shirts. We had handkerchiefs. Come on now. Hmm? Women would love to hang around muscle men back in the days. I tried to, I put a lemon in my, up under my arm, trying to make my arm look big. And she said, I saw that. <laughs> they would bully folk. They would bully the little man. They would bully and have me shaking like jello and the leaf on the tree. But nowadays as time goes by, it shifts out of the out of the forties and fifties, now into this timey time time. Oh, I don't care how built you are, Negro, how big your arm the your chest can stick so far you can't see the tip end of your shoe. This will stop the muscles. Somebody say that. Oh, they try to tell me that Bruce Lee used to catch bullets in his mouth. I don't believe that. If so, he would have been eating baby food before he died. Somebody say amen. But God said it tonight is pluck night. He's going to pluck something. He's going to pluck the plan and pluck the will of the enemy. He's going to pluck it and dismiss it from your presence. All the planning and the scheme and the layout. Sometimes you deserve it. Can't tap in to the scheme. It can't tap in to the plot that's laid out. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. So you're a warrior. You're a warrior. I told you one time I was going through something. So I went to uh, the bathroom and got some activator to activate my faith. Come on now. I sat down and watched the rich and the famous. Then I decided to go to the kitchen. Come on now. I went to the kitchen and I pulled out the box of Wheaties. Come on now. Wheaties. 300 athletes were supposed to, faces were supposed to have been on the Wheatie box. Michael Jordan. Come on now, huh? Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson. And you're on the Wheatie box because you're a champion. Pointing to yourself and say, I am a champion. I am a champion. Come on, see, and I am a champion. I, am a champion. I almost lost, but I didn't. 
That's right. And there were some close calls, my friend. There were some blows and knocks and punches that shook you. Come on. Shook your faith. You had to come back again in the rebound. Come on. Now. You rested up some and begin to fast and pray. Pray and fast. And you said, come on, brother. I'm looking for you right now. I got something. I got a salad just for you. Oh, and when I get through whipping you, so bad, you'll feel like you have whips in your back. I'm going to whip you so bad in the back, you cannot sit down. You, you do like uh, the book of Job said. When God asks Satan, where are you going? I'm walking to and fro because the footprint of God is back there. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Say amen again. You're bugging it out tonight. Something on the blood. You go back in your folk parent pattern and try to think of what happened the last week, the last two weeks, the last three weeks, all oh, the last month, how the enemy tried to dog you out and take you for granted. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. If so, amen, open your eyes. Oh, try to stand before you and block your pathway and hinder you as a saint of God. The way Satan confronts the ace is different than he confronts the saints. Come on now. Because, oh my God, the saints are rewarded. The saints are defeated. They have nothing to keep them. Come on now. In the world, I used to puff on marijuana, the unlabeled cigarette. I would puff on it. The first time I started puffing on it, I took a puff. Two little fat men was on my shoulders, all right? Just keep that up there. You might want to show you something. Play it. Somebody say that. In the world, when I would get upset, have a lot of my mind, I would puff. Come on now. Bomb. Bomb it. And put shades on. One time I got high as a kite. I smoked two bombs. Put shades on. My girlfriend said, what you looking at? I said, do you got in the way? I was looking at the clouds. <laughs> Is it? I'm wonderful. Somebody say man. But tonight is puff night. Tonight you're going to defeat the call. You're going to defeat it. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the landlord said. I don't care what was said, what was spoken. God has the last say so. Is that right? Come on now. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Lift your hand and say, God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Come on, say it in the name of God said it. I believe in that settles it. Oh, you get ready, you get ready to get a reward. Get ready. Well done, thank you, the faithful servant. Oh, well done, well done. You completed something. That's why the pressure has lifted off you. That's why things look bright, a brighter day again. Oh, you can think better. Come on, the car rides better. The, uh, you can hear uh, the pigeons tweet a little better. Somebody say amen. Because you plucked. You plucked something out of the hand. You plucked something out of the wheel of the enemy. Oh, whatever he has planned, he has been stopped. S-T-O-P. You put a stop line before him and the Negroes can't go no further. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, say amen again. Amen. He thought she had you. He thought it was all over. He thought she was giving up. Because you stopped calling folk to pray for you. All it was, God wanted you to call on him for yourself. If you can't, my God, pray for yourself, why pray for somebody else? Somebody say amen. So it's pluck night. The pluck anointing is in camaraderie. It's here tonight. It's here to grace you. It's here to see about you. It's here to take care of you. Let's lift our hands to heaven. Oh, twirl like you are twirling something out of the head. Yeah, there's a pluck that thing. Pluck it, pluck it, pluck it. Pluck it out, pluck it out, pluck it out, pluck it, pluck it, pluck it. Pluck it, pluck it, pluck it. Pluck it out, pluck it, pluck it. Pluck it. The preacher said the devil, the big world, the Satan, the spirit. You don't have no father. The father of all liars. Isn't God wonderful? Let me pray for you real quick. And I want to minister to someone else. Could you come forward, please, just for a I'll move as God leads me. Yes. I don't go no other way. Yes. Somebody say that. Amen. I'm going to pray right now that God go into the lining of your stomach back. Come on. Yes. The lining. You have backed up bacteria. Okay. And how long has it been there? This long been? It's been there for two weeks. Oh. 
but it began to build up. Okay. It began to build up with the word called inflation. Come on, now. In inflammation. Yeah. Inflammation in your system. Now it's trying to push on your bones, but I believe before it's all over, you will be totally healed when the time is right to walk without uh, uh, using something to assist you. Yeah. In Jesus' name, because you're supporting, uh, supporting the services and supporting the prophet coming out. Yes. God's gonna support you. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Shatokobo, put your hand on your stomach. Curse the bacteria. Curse it. Yes. Curse it real good. Curse it. In Jesus' name. You may release dark bowel movements. You may. Have you already yet? No. No. You may release dark bowel movement. Okay. It's nothing but infection and bacteria. It'll be okay. Amen. Isn't God wonderful? Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Boom. Cha -ta -ta -ta. In Jesus' name, we glorify you right now. Could you bring up this weight, please? I just want to lay my hand on her head. Is God wonderful? Yes. I did it. I just want to lay my hand on her head. She has a touch of bad poor blood circulation and a touch of gout. In Jesus' name. Yes. God from the crowd. Her mama said, I don't want to mess that block up. <laughs> from the crowd, her mama said. The soles of her feet yes. go now yes. into each leg, each limb. Yes. Allow poor circulation yes. to circulate free. Yes. Dissolve these blood clots yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. To God be the glory. Yes. And we magnify you right now. Yes, Lord. And we thank you. Shut up, Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Thank you. Just come towards me, Mama, as you lift it. Come on, Mama. Come on. Come on. That's good. Come on. Can you hear me, Mama? You raise your leg. Raise the left one. Raise it. Raise it. Raise it. I see a lot of people get out of wheelchairs. Come on. Come towards me. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Let's get out of here. Lord of God, you come to the top of me. I just want to share something with you on tonight. I pray for a woman who wants to be on she didn't get up. When she got home, she walked out of the car. The people said they wouldn't come back because she didn't walk, because I was going to walk out because she didn't walk. But they had to come back and apologize because one of the most critical, they end up in the wheelchair. Wow. How'd you hear about us down here? Oh, I've been looking at it on the video. Mm -hmm. And of course, I heard the word about from some of the people that came. Sit it again, man. On the video, it's on video. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I pray for you? Oh, yes. I want to pray for the word that God spoke to me. At the end of this word, it has an S to it. What keeps coming to me is 
B O N S. Bones. Bones. Your bones. Bones. Oh, okay. The bones in your legs. Yeah. The bones yeah. around your kneecap. Yes. That makes it. Makes sense. The bones in your ankle. Yes. I'm going to lay my hand on you tonight. Thank you. As the word of knowledge shifts out of my spirit, I pray right now. I hear the Lord speaking to me. Oh my God. On Valentine's Day, uh, what do people eat? Chocolate candy. And how is the candy made most of them? Mm. Valentine's shit. Yeah, right. I looked That's at right. your heart <laughs> and I saw a chocolate heart. Mm. The interpretation of this is God's will make things sweeter in the health of your heart. Amen. Right now. Where there's been a slight irregular heartbeat. Mm. Off and on. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stretch your hands towards her. Yes. Shate Lita Kuku. Yes. From the crown of her head to the sole, oh, there it is, of her feet. Thank you for the anointing, the peace of God, the presence of God. Oh, God, the fragments of heaven, as the gold nuggets fall from apex in this service tonight. Amen. Amen. Before you sit down, the Lord said, it will be safe and safer. What he just told me was the next trip. Amen. The next trip is the vacation trip. Amen. Huh? Is that Amen. right? Amen. Said, That's okay. true. Where are you going? Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Right now. That you'll be safe and safe the next trip. Amen. It's going to be very peaceful and uh, you'll enjoy it real good. Amen. And uh, yes. everything will be pleasant. Amen. Yes. And while you're away, God will deal with you about. A word that starts with the F, your family. Okay? God bless you. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Stay closely connected to your mother. Stay closely connected to your mother. Sit down when you're bothered and talk to her. Yes. And tell her what is it that bothers you. Yes. Because somebody or something wanted to split the closeness between you and your mother. That makes it yeah. the hand to heaven. In Jesus' name. You're going to find out about a person, a young man, what he's about. Okay? You wanted to know, didn't you? Where is he coming from? What is he like? Is he into me? Is he, is he into me? He needs to be more honest with you. I think it like that. I lay hands on your little egg head. In Jesus' name. We thank you. Lift your little hands to heaven, baby. Amen. Oh, God, we thank you. Move, 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 move. Move, move, move up tonight. Start right now eating much vegetables. Okay. Eat a lot of vegetables because something about your healthy about your Monday. Which has played games on you. Came when it was supposed to be it, it didn't come, but it came when it wasn't supposed to. It's gonna be alright, okay? Okay. <laughs> She's green. She went into a woman. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I feel God. Son. Stay closely connected with him. Yes. Huh? <laughs> hear what I said? Listen, hear what I said? What did, what did God say? What did God say? What did God just say, son? 
stay closely with him, yeah. Stay closely connected yeah. with him. Yeah. It's not for you to go away somewhere else. Stay closely connected. If you go to a school, if the school is different, but stay closely connected. Because I saw down the road a young fine girl have plans to pull you from the ministry. And believe me, she is a fire cracker. <laughs> <laughs> she came out of the fiery furnace. <laughs> and she is fine. And the word fine is still. She stacked like a box of that And she bowling it. <laughs> Stay watchful, candid, and very alert. Stay close to the man of God. Because as the plane take off, are uh, you being a passenger? Fasten your feet down. Seat down. Because God's going to take the church places. Isn't God wonderful? Amen. I feel God right now. Sha ta 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 ta. Thank you for the anointing. It's your person's. And while it's in your head, I'll be on the radio tomorrow night, 7.15.